today was mad it was absolutely mad i was on the verge of crying <laughs> I got to witness childbirth. I didn't just witness, guys. I had the privilege of assisting in surgery. and welcome back to my channel my name is Liddy and for those of you who don't know I am a fourth year UK medical student welcome to today's day in the life I'm currently based on obstetrics and gynecology and this is all about babies and women's health as you guys know our academic year has been split into different specialities and um, whether that's obstetrics and gynecology or psychiatry or neurology and obviously being in obstetrics and gynecology I get to see things like childbirth I get to conduct examinations on pregnant women and take history from them so it's really exciting right guys so i've grabbed my breakfast i know it seems like nothing but i'm actually a brunch type of person i don't get hungry until like 1 p.m so this is perfect for me it's currently like 6 30 and i need time to change into scrubs and i actually can't go into certain areas um in my placement clothing like this so i'm now gonna head to the hospital so i can change the scrubs and get started with today's activities I had the absolute maddest day in OBS and Gynes. Today was mad. It was absolutely mad. Right now it's 1 p.m. I think I've done like a like a good six. Is that six five hours? I don't know how much I spent on the wards today, but literally just got back. 127. Literally just got back, and I had a crazy day. Like today, I got to witness childbirth yes i got to witness a baby coming into this world i didn't just witness guys i had the privilege of assisting in surgery there was a cesarean section for those of you who don't know it's when an incision is done like usually in the lower abdomen to um aid the baby in coming out because for whatever complications or personal reasons the baby couldn't come down via the birth canal i was scrubbed in if the surgeon needed something like hold this instrument here help me hold the abdomen open or whatever like i was helping her hold the abdomen open with another doctor while the surgeon literally pulled this baby out of the stomach and into the world it was mad like honestly i know i didn't do much like i didn't do the surgery but just even being able to contribute a tiny bit to bringing someone into this world nothing can top that feeling i honestly felt so honored and just the whole thing was sick it was so oh, it was honestly so cool like it's days like this when i'm like no nah, medicine is medicine is sick because to be able to witness childbirth from that perspective not many are able to do that and i think you know this profession is a blessing in a sense in the sense that you get to witness really beautiful moments like that and then when the child started crying i swear my eyes did tear up i was on the verge of crying but i was like no Liddy, you can't look like a little you need to suck it in so my eyes did water a tiny bit and then i kind of collected myself but oh my god so cute no this does not mean i'm gonna be a surgeon and it does not mean i'm gonna do obstetrics and gynecology as a specialist it was it's amazing to experience as a medical student but i don't see myself doing it for years you know because childbirth is one of those things where it won't always go okay it won't always go right and i think if things were to go left my emotional state i don't think i could handle that in my career so i'd rather i'd rather not pursue pursue it as a profession but it was it was so cool honestly it was amazing the sun is finally out i can properly show you guys my room desk cheeky plant on the side um bed wardrobe mirror and my ensuite is over there and yeah this is my cute little temporary accommodation for the next five weeks as i undertake obstetrics and gynecology <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
The lighting here is so bad. Hey guys, here's my outfit for the gym. Leggings and like a zipper top situation. You lots of you have been watching Journey Smith for a while now. Like you guys know gym was just not a thing for me in first year of med school, second year, third year. I was just not a gym babe. Actually end of third year I became a gym babe and now you know I'm a five times a week at the gym type of gal and I'm loving this lifestyle honestly. I feel like when you're so busy with med school and everything you just you just need a space that's good for your mental health, that is good to release a bit of dopamine and yeah just stay fit, stay healthy with the business of life. Okay, so guys, I know I don't knit my best right now. Don't watch that. I just came back from the gym, but we've successfully completed. Was it leg day? Mm -hmm. Leg day. Actually, been a while since I've gone to the gym, so I've been so busy with summer holidays and just like moving around. But now that we have a routine here, it's gonna be much much easier to be going to the gym um, frequently. So hopefully we'll be back here tomorrow. It's gonna get home, crack open the laptop, and grab some dinner as well so that I can start my productivity session. So guys, I am back home. Um, I've had a shower. I've gotten dressed into some more comfy clothing. And I'm a bit stressed out. Just a tad bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell from all the... I get really bad stress spots. So like literally my, my acne is just... Rah, like it just, it just flares up when I'm stressed. So obviously that's a bit of a piss take. We have a dissertation to do most fourth years in the uk will not have to do a dissertation which is which is a, a, an essay a very long essay um because it's medicine you know medicine it's not unless you're really interested in research it's not really an essay based subject like it's more clinical visual like anatomy so i don't know why our uni makes us do a dissertation but whatever it's just one of those things next month we're going to start start off a few modules a few pharmacological modules that are quite in depth that we call them scripts over at Bart's. um i have past med to do so clinical flashcards to keep on top of my obs and gynae rotation i have teaching to attend write up everything i've done today um it's like a portfolio thing that we're completing and then obviously on top of medical school you guys know i have content creation responsibilities quite a lot on my plate <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying not to be I'm not gonna say I'm trying not to be stressed but I am stressed and I've accepted it like it's whatever so yeah let's get started let's get started with it Life update. I didn't get to finish the past month questions I wanted to do today. And quite frankly, I'm tired. But yeah, I'm gonna eat some pot needles and like watch Netflix. But you know when you've just been looking at a screen the entire day? I've been looking at my iPad making notes on placement, I've been looking at my laptop um doing work. So while well, I would absolutely love to watch Netflix, it's just I don't think it's the vibe for today. I'm so sorry that I have such low energy, but fourth year said, you know, fourth year did not come to play, and that's okay. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really, I really hope the vlog turns out okay. Like, Lord knows what clips I've accumulated today. I have no idea. I'm gonna go finish this noodle and just drop on my bed and go to sleep. 
but in the meantime do check out how me and Hazal's first week back at medical school as fourth year medical students when thank you so much for watching and I really do hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below bye